Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here with a video looking at the creepy side of stop motion animation. Be warned the animations featured in this video are both disturbing and violent, so viewer discretion is advised. Stop motion animation is a form of animating objects, often made from clay or silicone, frame by frame to give the illusion of movement. Many children's shows such as Button Moon, Wallace and Gromit, and Trapdoor have used this medium over the years. There is, however, a darker, more adult side to stop motion, and given that this form of animation can already look creepy, when made disturbing on purpose, the results are truly terrifying. The following are five of the creepiest out there. In 1993, animator Dave Borthwick directed The Secret Adventures of Tom Thumb, based on the dark children's fairy tale by the Brothers Grimm. But this isn't the fairy tale you remember. Set in an impoverished reimagining of London Town with an almost post apocalyptic background, this animation is oppressive from the outset. Bugs creep over the scenery, everything looks dirty, and most disturbingly of all, the human characters are actual actors who have been animated frame by frame themselves, which makes for a surreal and uncomfortable viewing experience. There's no joy to be found in this film, it's pretty depressing from beginning to end, with many cruel and grotesque scenes along the way. To give an idea of the creep factor on display here, check out the following clip. Fun fact, the director of this creepy film later went on to helm the big screen adaptation of The Magic Roundabout. Operator is a two episode series set in a futuristic science building run by evil corporation Infocorp. It was put together by animator Sam Barnett with episode 1 releasing in 2013 and episode 2 releasing in 2017. A third episode is now in production. The first episode follows the exploits of a worker whose job is to switch jack inputs in the wall to the commands of an ominous instructor. Before long a strange goop leaks out of a wall fixture and transforms into a grotesque creature that eventually ends up attaching itself to the man and brainwashing him. It is revealed that this parasite has been released on purpose and that the company staff have all been infected. Episode 2 picks up during the contamination and follows an engineer and his co-workers as they attempt to escape. Obviously a satire on the way big corporations treat the little guy, and exploitation and abuse that often occurs within the workplace, this animation is both gruesome and disturbing, but also very watchable. Here is a clip from episode 1. Saka Men is a Japanese animated short by director Shinguru Okada. The premise is simple. A monk is out walking along a mountain trail when he is ambushed by a thief. After robbing the monk, the thief returns to his campfire beside a large boulder where his wife and baby are resting. As the thief has a broken arm, he pulls away the rope securing the boulder and ties it around himself like a splint. The boulder then spews out a weird creature that tunnels into the man's brain and transforms him into a horrifying being. Finally, the monk arrives in time to save the baby and vanquish the evil, but not before plenty of gore and weird transformative body horror has presented itself. Check this out. Oh my God. Yoshi. 
どもお願いいや There's plenty of spooky Japanese animation out there, but personally this one unsettles me more than most. It's just plain weird and some of the visuals are pure nightmare fuel. Based on Adam Wingard's seminal horror movie You're Next, The Simpsons Couch Gag is a hyper-violent animated YouTube video by creator Lee Hardcastle, who has made a career out of parodying popular films and TV shows with his signature style of claymation. It begins with the Simpsons family watching TV as usual, before a home invasion kicks off with Bart taking an arrow to the head. This then gives way to Nelson, Jimbo and the other deadbeat kid breaking in and savagely massacring the entire family, even baby Maggie, all shown in gruesome detail and laced with dark humour. It is disturbing seeing TV's most beloved animated family brought to life in this way, but even more horrifying to watch them suffer such physical trauma. Let's leave it there with this clip. Finally, we have Robert Morgan's short film Bobby Yeah, which is for my money the most horrific film on this list. The story is pretty nonsensical and full of deeper meaning and symbolism. It certainly hits the more art house end of the spectrum. We follow the exploits of a creepy rabbit looking humanoid as he repeatedly hits a little red button that causes some insane and mind bending scenarios to unfold. Perhaps the closest film comparable to Bobby Yeah would be David Lynch's Eraserhead, but even that doesn't quite hit the same level of grotesque insanity on display here. And that's it for today's video guys, I hope you did enjoy it, and if you did, remember to give it a like and subscribe for more horror related content, including theories, analysis and let's play videos, and I will see you on the next one.